So Neil and Joe uh, were students that joined, and you'll see their story uh, with some with a lot of our team. Actually, they're students that are doing things on a daily basis. They've implemented our strategies. They know it. They've pushed outside the box, and I asked them if they would like to come along and help. And thankfully, these two have. So uh, enjoy this. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, so we're Neil and Joe um, from Perth. Apparently the only three people in here with Fab, but... Uh, <laughs> it doesn't sound like you're from Perth, though. Yeah, we're not originally from Perth. But, we're proper uh, Aussies, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so before we met Ian, um, since I've been in the country, I've been working fly in, fly out, working in onshore, offshore, different countries. Um, we had a good life, but... Yeah, I spent half my life working away, so we decided to look for different ways on how to have a better life. And we knew once we met Ian and all the mentors that we've got, um, this property was definitely a way to go. Yeah, um, I work in advertising, so um, anything between 60 and 70 hours a week when we're really busy. So it's not a very good work-life balance. So we just want to look for something more for the future to eventually get to a state where we can have a bit of, better work-life balance. And two years ago, I lost a good friend and why he was working away at the time as well, so that's also wanted me to stop working away. Life's too short. Life is too short. So since, <coughs> since we've got an into property, we've, oh, look at this side, eh? it's easier. <laughs> we've um, renovated a, a property using a call option, so we didn't actually own the property, we just controlled it, renovated it, and sold it and made a good profit on it. Uh, the second renovation project we did, it was a JV partner deal where somebody else put the cash in we found the deal, renovated it and sold it on, made some profit on that. Um, and then we joined High Res last year, so we flew to Brisbane last year, sat where you are now, um, seeing all the different presentations, and Kai's and Kelly stood out to us more than anything. So we sort of copied them in Perth. So what you see is very much what you've seen <laughs> earlier. Yeah, so you're going to see the same presentation twice, really. <laughs> um, yeah, after that we went straight home, converted our PPR into a HMO and moved in with the in-laws. <laughs> he loved it. That was good fun. <laughs> oh, it lasted. Um, we then took two additional head leases out, which we'll go through all these later on. And then um, I went to the Sunshine Coast to do my real estate agent licence, um, which is gonna, has now enabled us to um, set up a property management business, um, especially for HMOs. Um, and also, I have um, started a interior design diploma. So I really like styling the houses, and um, I just thought that would be another thing that can add to the mix. Yeah. So this is our first renovation that we did. This is the before picture, <laughs> and that's the after. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was the after. So yeah, came up quite well. <laughs> Total different house. So this was the one where we used a call option on. Um, we're trying to get another call option on a property now, which we'll talk about later on as well, which is an Airbnb at the minute, and we're trying to get that and take over it for a while. Um, this was the one that we did the JV with. So someone else put the money into this, and we renovated it, and then sold it on, and we both made a bit of profit out of this, which was good. This is all Joe Stalin, by the way, this is before she's qualified as well. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so after them two renovations, we made a bit of money on them, but our goal was cash flow so that if I ever came out of work, working in the oil and gas industry, you're sort of in work for six months, and then you're out of work for three months, and then in work for two months, and out of work for four months. So all the money we earned was up and down, and we needed to get constant cash flow coming in. Um, so we joined our res, and like you say, we converted our um, PPR into a HMO. So this is our PPR. Um, they're the pictures that we use to advertise it on uh, Flatmates, Gumtree, and Marketplace. Um, yeah, Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. So uh, um, it's currently a four bed, and it's got a theatre um, and a study with that as well. Um, we are looking to convert it into um, a five bed, so changing the theatre room into another bedroom and adding an ensuite because we know that um, we can get much more um, money per week if, if they've got their own bathroom. Mm. So this would be um, for room two and room five would have their own ensuite on those. So um. currently it's sitting at um, 15,000 a year um, cash flow, but if we increase it to a five bed with the other ensuites, then um, we reckon it's going to be about 25k. Easy. Um, we also rent out the garage, so it's like $10 each side for the garage, which helps. 
Um, this was our first head lease HMO. So this one is, we try to get all ours next to train stations, shopping centres, good bus routes. Oh, this one ticks all the boxes. Um, this was actually, can you just go back a sec there, please? Yeah. So this one was actually a four by two, uh, four by three. And the bedroom five on the bottom floor there, that was a dining area. And we got permission from the owner and from the agent to put a stud wall up to make an extra bedroom in there. So we got, we rented a four bed house, but using five bedrooms. Um, so although we've came up with a lot of challenges when it comes to trying to do subleasing to get owners or um, other property managers on board with it, um, this was actually uh, willing to go that bit further and letting us convert mm. it. Um, yeah, we actually got refused on five or six, yeah. five or six before we actually got this one. But we kept going. And even now when the property manager comes around to do their inspection, she's like, oh my God, it looks so much better than how it was previous. So they're really happy that we've converted it and did a bit of work to it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that was a four by three, put the extra door and wall in for the fifth bedroom. And we took a two year option, a two year lease with two two year option extensions. Um, ten and a half grand to get us into the deal and it's cash flow of around 14 grand a year. So we've got a good little deal with Dita where we, he lets us put the fire and safety in. I'm an electrician, but we actually bring another electrician in because I can explain to the electrician exactly what we need. He does the install. Dita sends the signs over, we put them all on the back of the doors and then I FaceTime him and run around the house showing him how everything works. So yeah, it goes pretty well. Um, yeah, this is our newest one. This was a brand new house, only been lived in for a year before, before we got hold of it. Um, we were negotiating on that one for two months. Yeah. Yeah, backwards and forwards. The agent wasn't keen on it, the owner wasn't keen on it. We got some help from Karina on how to get it over the line. So this was November time last year, and then we actually got the keys to this on December the 15th. So yeah, there was two months of no uh, negotiations on this. And it was then ended up being the worst time for us to take over the property, because then by the time we got it, it was Christmas. So to fill it in December, January time, um, we really struggled. It's only now that we're getting um, you know, lots and lots of inquiries about it, but it took a while, so we'll never do that again. But yeah. you learn on every project, so. Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, we've got four rooms filled in that now, and it's uh, we only needed two rooms filled, and it was paying for itself, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, so these are all in Perth. Yeah, yeah, in Perth. So again, this is it ticks all the boxes next to a big shopping centre, next to the train line, bus route at the bottom of the road as well. So mm. yeah, and it helps that it was a brand new property because we didn't have to do much um, to it, but we do fully furnish all the rooms and have bed linen in there. Um, even whether we, we keep the bed linen there or not when they move in, it just um, it kind of it just makes it look better. And um, we also include the um, common utilities like the bin liners and um, washing up liquid and stuff like that as well because we do find that helps. Um, so from there, we've set up JNG and um, Property Group. So this is um, now that I've got my full license and we've put my mum through her um, property management course so that we can have a bit of a family business to be able to help people uh, set these up. living with her wasn't bad enough. <laughs> 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 what am I doing? <laughs> But um, no, it's, um, it is really time consuming when you're doing your own um, rooming houses. So um, my mum's kind of getting across that quite quickly. Yeah, um, yeah but she is. We were able to um, help people, whether it's just, and um, whether it's furnishing it and properly setting it up and doing the fire um, and safety, or just the management of the property and doing the adverts and getting people in there as well. Yeah. yeah, we prefer them to come to us fully furnished with all the fire and safety done and just say, uh, you guys tenant them. But if you do need help setting them up, furnishing them. Sometimes the it just safety. needs a small amount of money, doesn't it? Just to do some tweaks to yeah. make it look a bit more appealing yeah, yeah. for people as well. Um, have we got anything about the Airbnb on this one? Mm. So we've, we've picked up an Airbnb in Fremantle, which is a friend who's had to move back to the UK due to the lack of work. Um, we're trying to get it on a lease option. He doesn't want to give us it, but he's losing money on it on a weekly basis and if he sells it he's going to lose money so we're pretty confident that we can use a, a lease option again so we can take over this property for him. It'll, it'll help him out and it'll help us out too but um, like Ian says there's a lot of good opportunities in WA at the minute and um, if you get out there and start talking to people you'll find them. Yeah and this Airbnb is doing well it's busy all the time but it could do with just um, a little bit of a cosmetic 
lift Zhuzh Zhuzh up, yeah, um, which he doesn't want to put any money into, so that's why we'd like to take that off his hands so that we know we'd be able to get a bit more um, for it on a weekly basis if we put a little bit, bit into it as well. Yep. So goals for this year? Yeah, we want to get four additional head lease properties ourselves. HMOs and uh, that'll probably enable one of us to step away from our jobs, but concentrate on it full time. Um, we're also going to be working with Fab to try and get a subdivision on the go and build two HMOs and we'll probably keep one and sell one. Um, we're working on a seller JV right this minute and we want to do the upgrade to our PPR with the additional bedroom with the ensuite sort of conversion as well. So yeah, if we get that, if we tick all them boxes this year, we'll be pretty happy. And also we want to assist other high-risk students with uh, HMO conversions and management. So. And we've also um, contacted this um, a Facebook group called Seniors um, House Share in Perth. They're actually um, around Australia because um, there is quite a need for um, housing for elderly people who, um, you know, they've worked hard all their lives and they get to this day and age and they can't afford a home of their own and they don't want to go into student type accommodation. We want to be able to provide them some really nice accommodation. So I've reached out to her and she also um, has a group which is like a woman's network, which is quite similar. So, you know, people in the 50s, they might have um, divorced from their husbands. They they spent their lives, um, you know, bringing up their children and now they can't possibly take on a place of their own. So we'd like to find a nice um, some accommodation that's safe and comfortable for them, that they're around like-minded people. So it's definitely on the list for this year to try and network with more of those companies that can put us in touch with people who really need good accommodation. So that's just kind of wrapping up. Um, what we've done this year and managed to um, gain um, approximately 50k in, in cash flow. Um, and I guess there's quite a lot of learnings and advice because every project we do, you learn all the time. Um, things definitely don't always go smoothly and they don't go quickly, but um, it's worth pursuing and, and carrying on. Just keep going. Keep yeah. going. Um, follow the steps that um, these guys are doing and you know it just goes to show that when we were here only a year ago we've done quite a lot in that time just by taking um, the advice from the experts and, and using the team around us. Um, keep an eye on budgets, they can easily blow out, especially if I'm styling your property. <laughs> <laughs> um, so be persistent, um, make sure you've got everything covered in your house rules because um, they can be quite sneaky tenants and they try and get anything out of you. Yep. Which we um, can help you with again. And also really vet your tenants. Um, I've learned the hard way because a particular guy in our last, um, our last head lease place, he didn't have a job, but he'd been going through a hard time. He'd been in hospital. I knew he seemed a little bit dodgy, but I felt sorry for him. I'd give him a lease and he didn't pay for three weeks. We had um, the house raided by police and um, stole the TV as well. So um, you learn. But yeah, <laughs> living you learn the hard way. Yep. I think that's it for my